So I just did a video cutting up all kinds of things just for fun and it did not turn out because the camera angle was even crappier than the last video I posted there. And you missed a good one because I have tried to cut this. It's a copper fitting, soldered pipe into it and man, it got so stuck. I tried to cut it right here. I think, I think that's 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. So yeah, it definitely didn't. It took over 10, 11 minutes at least to pry those jars, jaws apart. It does come with an Allen key to pop the screw out, but it, 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 was, it was a bitch, it was stuck. So we know we can't cut that. And I was really hoping it would, because you know, number one, I don't know, it's like four bucks a pound here. Well, where I go to, it's three hours away. And number two is like 367. So whatever, it is what it is. I got some other things. I got some brass shells. Don't need to cut them, they sell as is, but I sure the hell want to cut them. It looks fun. I got some brass fuses. I filed the ends, they are brass, so we're gonna, do them over this because they're full, always full of crap in here, but at least we can get dirty brass for the ends instead of having all this other crap. And a little piece of copper pipe just for fun. Let's try it out again. I got her set on speed two. Oh yeah. I could probably clean that up a little better and get clean brass, so let's try her out. I don't know if this is going to work too well, but I think I'm going to switch to one. Oh yeah, like a charm. It won't release though, because it does get, no, there we go, no problem. So there, no problem, we got clean brass. Actually, you know what, that's not even brass. Look in there, that's copper. You can't see it on the camera, but let's, uh, hold on, let me get a hold on that. Oh yeah. Number two copper, even that's a bonus. Well, I'm okay with that. That's too bad that I don't spin right off there. We can get that little, oh, we'll get that piece out somehow. Let's go back to number two. I think it'll do it in two minutes, Rob. This, this way. Boom. Oh, look at that. Perfect. We'll do the same on that, and that's probably just a little thin thing of number two copper. Uh, no, I'm not seeing copper in there, so we'll separate that out. Either way, hell, why not? Yeah, crazy. I used to do all this by hand my big whoppers, which work good for everything, but hey, you can do it with the machine, why not? Oh, that's beautiful. Right, that was fun. Well, for me, another little bucket here. Let's try a brass shell. Oh, just like nothing. Try five at once and it might fit in the jaws. Find out here in a second. I don't know. Maybe. No, four fits. Holy shit. <laughs> Just like nothing. bucket this is pretty small pipe it's only like 3 8 pipe but it's this it's folded over three times so let's give that a go in second here no problem what the hell else can we cut I don't know that's pretty good though okay well whatever that thing's amazing highly recommend it oh hey I set up this motor here forgot and check the video, see if, it, if it's in the video, and if it is, we'll try cutting some of those coils. Oh yeah, it's kind of in the video. I'm gonna go on one though, because I don't want to cut any steel. Okay, I'll move over on this side. Oh, 
Oh yeah, right through it. I'll save doing all that by hand now. Like a dream. Thing to make getting copper easier on the body and quicker and this don't forget I am running this on speed one just because I'm I've never done this before so Ooh, yeah let's see if I can zoom in at all Awesome. 